All right. It is 5 p.m. And I'm literally crawling out of bed barely right now. I've been exhausted today. My body just gave out and I have not been able to get up. So pretty much slept all day. Right now, we're going to go pick up Mia Bella. She called me. She wants to come over for a little bit. So let's go ahead over there, pick her up, spend a few hours with her. Because uh, tomorrow I have my surgery. But more, I'm back later. Let's go pick up Mia. All right, here I am to pick up me up, but now I can't get a hold of them. So I'll try a few more times, and if I can't get a hold of them, then I'll, I'll have to see them some other day. But my phone is about to die, so I'll try to call in a couple more times. Well, I'm just relaxing at home. As you can see, it's already dark. Uh, Mia didn't end up coming over. I couldn't get a hold of them. So I came back home. But I'm just taking it easy. I think I'm going to go for a little drive here in a little bit uh, to get ready. Have my back surgery tomorrow, which I'm getting a little nervous about, but that's okay. I'm going through this book, Weird Washington. It's pretty interesting. It's got all these uh, different locations that I want to visit in Washington. I like to travel, so I've already marked. I've gone through a little bit of it, and I've marked uh, some of the places that I've already visited. Uh, the Kennewick Man, we just made a video about this a couple weeks ago. Because uh, I live right by the location where, the, where they found him. So I just, I'm putting uh, little post-its to the things that I've already seen. But there's a lot that I still want to look through. So Pike's Market in Seattle. You know, I've been to that. Or uh, whatever it's called. Pike Place Market. It's Kennewick Man again. I won't go through all of this. But there's a lot of really cool locations that I want to go to. And a lot of them, like I said, that I've already visited. Uh, this one you can see in Seattle. It's a house in Seattle. You can see it right off the highway. I've seen it numerous times. Uh, Long Beach. <laughs> Long Beach, Washington. When I, when I retire, this is the town that I will be living in. This is my dream. It's a small little coastal town. I love this place. I, haven't, I used to go every year, but I didn't go this year. But um, when I retire, when I get old, this is where I want to retire to in Long Beach, Washington. If you ever have the opportunity to go, just go. It's a nice, there's a lot of oddities there. They have like the the world the, the world's uh, largest frying pan, as you can see right there. And a giant razor clam that squirts water. Here's uh, Jake. I have, a, I have a magnet on the fridge about Jake and the shot glasses. And like I said, I've been to Long Beach a lot. Uh, here's the Stonehenge. I've made videos about the Stonehenge also, uh, visiting it. Uh, I also made a video about Gravity Hill. See? Gravity Hill is an area where you uh, you park your car on the line, and it literally the car goes uphill on its own. It's uh, pretty interesting. I made a video a couple years ago, and we might take another trip. So it was a pretty, pretty fun experience. Here's Bruce Lee's gravesite in Brandon Lee. I've, been, I've visited that before. So, like I said, there's a lot of uh, a lot of places I've been to, but a lot of places I still have to go to. Like, I marked this one off because here's a town that's close to me, it, and uh, it's called Granger. It says Face of Cherry Hill. This is haunted locations, and that location is really close to me, so I think I might just take a trip there, just for the heck of it. I like scary stuff, so why not, right? So, anyway, I'm slowly going through this whole book, and... uh. I didn't realize how many locations I have been to, and I didn't realize how many locations I have not been to. So it's going to be a fun experience to be able to uh, try to accomplish everything in this book. And there's so much that's so close to me that I haven't seen. So, there you go. Weird Washington. Awesome book. Anyway, I'm just going to take it easy. Uh, like I said, I'm going to go for a little drive here in a little bit, just to uh, relax a little. And uh, I have my surgery tomorrow. I go in at 7.45 a.m. And I have my back surgery. And uh, uh, we'll see how that goes. It's going to go good. But uh, thanks for watching. 
stay tuned for more don't forget to comment like subscribe down below watch our videos to our two fans out there and i'm gonna be doing some more uh, magnet fishing stuff a new hobby that i've taken up so i'm looking at magnet uh, new magnets and uh hopefully make some fun videos there too see you later bye